Hello everybody and welcome back to another hacking tutorial. Uh, our little growing park here uh, gets ever larger with uh, ride number five. Uh, this one is a pretty simple ride uh, and actually this is going to be the easiest hack we've done so far. It's almost not even a hack, it's really just using the features of OpenRCT. Um, we are going to build this guy. It's our little barnyard steeplechase ride and you'll notice the one extra feature here as we follow this little horse right here. Uh, is once he gets to this little straight bit, he's going to rock back and forth. So a uh, little galloping horse as you go around the barnyard. Um, like I said, it's very easy. So let's work out how this goes. So first thing you're going to want to do is go into the cheats menu up here. And we're going to enable a couple of things. Um, I always have pause mode and disable brakes failure and all breakdowns on just because it makes my building experience cleaner and more pleasant. Um, but for this one, you're going to need to enable all drawable pieces and allow arbitrary ride type changes. So those are the two that you really need. So we're going to do this with a steeplechase, but as we'll see afterwards, you don't need just a steeplechase. So really what we're going to do is take advantage of the fact that uh, while you're building a ride, you can change the ride type while you're building, build some pieces in the other ride type, and then change it back. So what we're going to do is go in here, we're going to build our little station, and then we'll start out here with uh, some track, and then uh, we get to our straight bit, and uh, what we're going to do is use the log bumps from the monster truck car ride. So here is our uh, steeplechase ride here, and we're going to uh, click down here uh, where we have um, allowed for the ride type changes, and we're going to change it to car ride. And because we have enabled all drawable pieces, we will be able to select from here log bumps. So you'll notice that when we changed to car ride, this didn't display the S bend that we put in there. It doesn't mean it's gone. If we turn it on, you can still see it's there uh, with the height markers. Uh, but the car ride doesn't have the S bend, so it just doesn't show up. So what we're going to do is build in a couple of log bumps here, and then we're going to take this and we're going to go right back to steeple chase. So we can take this and zoom through to our next little bit and kind of continue on and do some other things. And then we'll just make this real simple since I think you all get the idea. Um, log bumps, and then let's build one more straight piece here. And we'll go back to our steeplechase. And you don't even need to close out of the, the construction dialog box. It can just stay there the whole time. So there we go, we'll place our thing, and then we have five cars. Now, this is a coaster ride, so it will lose speed over time. Uh, so what I tend to do is just build some chain lift pieces in. So what we'll do is go back into cheats, and we're going to allow chain lifts on all track pieces. Check that box. And then I'm just going to hide some chain on a couple of these corners just to give it some boost throughout the layout. This is a pretty small layout, so really just three of these. Um, you can do the whole ride if you want it to be consistent. I just don't necessarily like the loudness of the chain when you play with sound on. So we're just going to use a couple of sections here, but um, let's follow our little horse here as he goes along for the maiden voyage. And he's going to tackle some of these bumps right here. You can see him rocking back and forth. And everybody else is following suit. And then he will come around the corner. Let's speed up just a little bit. And he will bump across these as well. So the limitations here are you can only do it on the straight pieces. Um, I did just to check, um, did a shoestring where I used a two car vehicle and sent the, the uh, first car down below um, and tried to run that on all log bumps and see if the ride above would do the same. But each of the cars operates independently as far as the log bump variation goes. Um, so it's it's not something that you can shoestring so where it would bump around the corners too. Um, so a little bit disappointing, but that just means you have to build in some straight bits. Uh, so let's leave that there. So you can kind of see here, let's take out the scenery. I have like a straight bit here and then a straight bit here. So it, it, it looks natural enough. Um, and you can still build in the like four different sections here that, that we used. Uh, but this does not just apply to the steeplechase car. This applies to every vehicle in the game. So let's take the Morgan or Arrow Hypercoaster here. We're going to do the exact same thing. Turn around here and 
now we're going to click on this guy. We're going to change him to car ride and then log bumps. And actually, since we're using the small corners, we can just finish it up with the car ride and then turn it right back to the, um, uh, let's see, what was it? I don't even remember what it was. Um, really, you can change it back to anything you want. So we'll call it the spiral coaster um, and put our huts in and then test this bad boy out. And here we see our train coming around. And it will do the same thing. So use that as you will. Uh, sometimes it can be used for static scenery or um, using uh, rides as theming uh, for some things. Uh, there's a lot of clever uses for this. Uh, you may also recognize this motion as what the rapids boats do in the river rapids ride um, on the rapid sections. And that is the same. So really this is interchangeable. You could do this as a rapids ride. So we can, let's take the giga coaster this time and we'll come around and do two circles here. And then we're going to go to the uh, river rapids. Oh, that's our old one. Let's go back here. So let's click this guy and then we're going to go to uh, river rapids and then you can put in a couple of rapids and we'll go back to our giga coaster. I remember this time and we'll put our entrance and exit <clears throat> and this should do the same thing uh, as the other ones. So it really just, it doesn't matter which one you use. Uh, so here it goes popping up over top of that as well. Um, so useful for lots of different things, I'm sure. Um, but the, the most practical for me was this. Now you'll notice once you turn back, you have these leftover empty spaces here um, that you want to put track in there. So the best way to do that, and also to save some track spaces, is I use the same ride and I just build it backwards. If you build it forwards, it's gonna, uh, it has the potential to merge with your existing track, especially with some of the straight pieces that we've popped in here in addition to the log bumps. So always, whenever I do this, I merge backwards. So we'll disable clearance checks, go back through here, and then um, we will make uh, this, just so we don't lose it there. Build those three, and then we're gonna go back here, and I will delete this guy, and I will delete all of this and there we are so now it looks complete and it's just a uh, blank track but then when you have the vehicle run over it it will still do the bumps um, that backwards uh, build is also how you would do the um, station if you want to get rid of the station platform you just click in here click on track and then insert an all object to make it visible uh, and then go along and just make this all and then come back here and build your same track backwards. It can be a different track if you want to, um, but for me who's worried about um, the amount of ride um, ride spaces that I use, since there is a finite number per park, um, it's my thought just to use the existing ones and go with that. So anyway, that's, that's really it. Uh, there's no shoestring involved. This is a pretty simple, easy hack to do, and uh, it uh, looks good. So... Uh, we did a little bit of light theming around this, and um, I'm sure you can come up with lots of other options to use as well. But um, this is the simplest and easiest one so far, I think. Um, but we have more coming. I've actually already built the next four rides uh, for this park. Um, so now I just need to record them. But I hope you'll join me for those, and I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, if you have any suggestions for hacks that you'd like to see, uh, feel free to drop me a note uh, or leave a comment on the YouTube channel. Uh, and until next time, thank you very much for watching.